Good morning, you cracking humans. Out here mountain biking in Hins Dam, Gold Coast, Australia. My boys Ace and Jet. And we all love Cycling Maven Channel. Good morning, you absolute legends. We are heading out to the jungle that is Marrakesh. Let's do this. I thought Hannah was behind me, but she's not. Okay, so today it's 44 degrees Celsius. It's quiet. It's pretty quiet in the square compared to last night, which was it was absolutely heaving out here. But um, we're going to venture out and go get something to eat and hopefully not cook to death. Yeah. All right, the heat is undescribable. The, the last time there's a snake charmer. There's like snake charmers all over there. The last time I was in 44 degree heat, it was in north, like far north Western Australia in a place called Nullagine where I grew up and it used to get up to 50 degrees. But mate, it is so hot out here right now. It stings almost, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It's like incomprehensible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we've stopped at a little cafe. We're just having a uh, cheeky coffee. Hannah's having some water. So we're just gonna have a coffee and then I'm not exactly sure what there is to do and what there is to see in Morocco. We haven't really Googled much, but um, we're just gonna go get lost. Food stalls, fruit stalls, all the way through the market. Some over there. How's this, how's this legend? We're walking so slow at the moment and it's so hot that, and we've only gone like 200 meters from where we were at the cafe that we're considering going back to the hotel and just sitting in the room till nightfall. Which, I just said to Hannah, we can't do that every day because we, otherwise we just never do anything. But it is, like 44 degrees Celsius is, I can confirm, horrendous. You're that bad? Yeah, like I feel like I want to faint and vomit. Really? Yes. Is it that bad? Yes. My legs are stinging. They're what? <laughs> oh babe, I have to. I have to go back. We're gonna go back? Look at the sweat just pouring off me. Oh, alright, let's go back what? to the hotel. We can come when it gets dark, yeah? Alright, we're going back to the hotel. It is stinking hot and I'm wondering if I should shave off this wretched beard. Now I know Simon Geski is going to want his beard barn back, but what do you guys think? Yes or no? Right legends, we're going out for dinner. Uh, I'm dressed in the same stuff I was today, so I'm not exactly, I don't think Morocco is the sort of place you get dressed up for, and especially considering there's a bit of a dust storm out there. Where are we going? We're going to a restaurant just across the square that was recommended by a kind commenter. On the YouTube channel? Yeah. We're going to Nomad. It looks really good. We should give him a shout out. Who was it? I don't know. Alright legends, so as I was saying earlier, oh, there's actually dust flying around left, right and centre. But there's all these little fruit stalls over here. And um, so they're selling fruit and stuff, right? But you've got to be careful. I've read a lot on uh, the internet that they don't, they, well, they wash the fruit in sort of contaminated water and you can get really like a sick belly. Uh, people get nausea and all sorts of things. So they say only buy fruit that you can peel, like bananas and things like that. But it is cranking out here at the moment and uh, it's still quite hot, but there's a lot more people. As soon as the, as soon as the sun goes down, this place will be heaving with people.
We've landed in a little uh, restaurant called Nomad. So apparently this place is pretty awesome. Uh, they don't sell alcohol. I just asked for a beer. No beer. All right. So what is this H? Yeah, it's, a, it's called a vegetarian pastilla. It's a what? Vegetarian pastilla. It's just like a, a pastry filled with like veggies and butter. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's eat. Wait, is it? Is it? Is it low fat? Don't know. <laughs> always so hard to find your way home because the, the markets and stuff are like these little windy streets so you can get lost very easily and then you've got to ask someone how to get back to your hotel and they charge you. So I'm determined not to have that happen. I'm determined to find my way back to the hotel. So all these little alleyways have They've got tin, uh, tin roofing on it because it obviously uh, rains a fair bit and uh, it gets very hot in here. So obviously everyone's running their markets and stuff. So they want to keep the shelter on, which pretty much all the streets as you weave through are pretty much all like this. And we got, we got three Kiwis in the house. How are we boys? So you've been traveling for how long now? Uh, it's coming on seven, eight months, seven, eight months yeah, now. Are you, are you over it yet? Uh, no, nah, man, we just, just want to keep going. going yeah. You want to keep going? Yeah, definitely. How old are you now? Uh, I'm, I'm 27. 27? 25? 29. 29. Any cyclists in the house? Uh, mountain uh, bikers. Not typical. Mountain bike? Yeah, not, yeah, not, not cyclists. Not while you're, not while you're over here. here. Have we? Yeah, are you going to? Uh, we want to, in Europe, yeah. maybe Switzerland or Austria. No, in Morocco. Or... Are you going to do some mountain biking? Oh, no, biking? no. It's, it's too hot for that. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's way too hot. Yeah, it's so <laughs> They've got electric to mountain bikes. Oh really? Yeah, oh, e-mountain bike. Well, great to meet you, boys. Yeah, it's yeah. good. I think you're the first like Aussies we've met for uh, probably since uh, Asia. So. Yeah. Oh really? It's good to hear like a Kiwi Aussie accent for a change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's Nailed that? soup. Apparently, yeah. it's like a delicacy. Yeah. And sheep's head. Snail Neither of which I'll be trying. Really? Yeah. Shall I go through here? Yeah. We're back at our hotel after being harassed by about 500 people to buy things. Um, but it's good to be back at here. The air conditioning's on. Perfect. <laughs> 